So now let's add this, this globalvar.js to our server.js. So this is going to be exactly the same as NetPlayer, as chat, as all the others, as example socket. Okay, so we're literally just, I'm just gonna copy chat. Okay. And we'll name this uh, uh, global var. And the actual name of the file is global var. So let's make sure it's correctly calling the socket module slash global var. Okay, and then we can take this and we can pass it the IO to actually bind. And voila, that's it on connecting that. So let's, uh, let's restart our server here. All right, and give me a second, I'm gonna fire up our project. You wanna want, before I fire up our project, let's, uh, let's go into our project six. Uh, let's load a map. I, I, I need to work with something better than, why well, don't, no, let's go Snow Fortress. All right, let's uh, start our player up here. Our, our original map was getting, uh, it's getting a little too cluttered in here. So you want to, let's go with a bigger map and let's put a, uh, let's put a chest here and let's say it needs a switch of, uh, let's go five. Let's name this. Uh, you want to let's uh let's do it like this let's do it like this quick event treasure give it a couple gold and instead of turning self switch a we're going to turn um we are going to turn a global switch so control switches, we're gonna do number five, which is our chest. Okay, we're gonna turn that on. And instead of cell switch A, we're gonna turn switch five on. Okay, so now it is a global, uh, this is on a global scope, okay? So let's just make sure that that works as intended. All right, cool. I'm gonna get set up and we'll come right back. Oh, well, you wanna know what helps? What really, really, really helps? Adding the plugin to your, to your uh, thing here. So online, global vars. All right, well, now that we have this attached correctly, save, let's reload our project. And now, should work. So we got this over here, we got this over here, and if we open this up, it opens up for the both on the screen. All right, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. This is how it works. <laughs> uh, no frills, nothing crazy, but yeah. Yeah, that's how that works. And once again as well, you know, if I come in here and, oh, you wanna what? I'll do it on the play test because in the play test you can actually manipulate the uh, the switches. So if I come in here, if you notice, my third person it comes uh, with it still attached, and this is because uh, it's because it's real time. So if I sent over, okay, var five is now open. This was only the only other client connected over here, so this got it, but this third client did not. Okay. However, if I open it up. Uh, these are now all open, but if I come in here and I hit F9 and I come into my chest whoa, whoa, and I turn it off, it'll actually close back up for all three because all three are connected at once. Okay, so this is the concept that I want to get through about global VARs. Uh, it is it is real time. Uh, not to say that you couldn't make like a, uh, like a database function where, you know, it saves all all variables all the time and you know if you open a chest like nobody else can open a chest ever or nobody can open a chest for the next you know five hours or you know 
so on and so forth. You know, those things are totally possible. I just wanted to give the base logic for uh, global variables and opening a chest and other people seeing the chest and that sort of thing. Okay. All right. With that. So cool. That part of it works. Yeah. Let's see if we can get uh, pretty much receive variable is going to be exactly the same thing. Let's, uh, well, no, let's take a quick gander at set value for, um, variables real quick. Cause hopefully it should be relatively the same thing. Um, type of number. All right, so let's copy this one over. So now that we know what we're going to do with this uh, with this function, we're actually going to copy it twice. Uh, and remember, one is going to be for set network value because this is uh, game variables instead of game switches. So set network variable. I mean, set network value and then set value. We're going to actually kind of do what we did up here. Uh, and we're going to do oh, it's down here uh, instead of we're going to go global variable. We're going to copy this function over. I'm going to do a dot call. We're going to put this as the first argument and these two as the second and third argument. So now we're going to do, um, we will keep this first call just to keep everything and then we can get rid of all that. All right. So this is going to be almost exactly the same as the other one. So honestly, I'm just going to copy it. Uh, this socket emit. So variables, right? And then we're going to do set, uh, not switch data to server. We're going to do uh, variable data to server. Okay. And we're going to give it a var of switch ID, uh, not switch ID. It would be variable ID, variable of variable ID. Just what's being passed here and a value of value would be fine. Okay, so this variable data to server is going to be exactly the same as our switch data to server. So we're just going to copy this. Make a little extra space down here. And actually, I'm going to show where IO kind of... So this is uh, where IO ends and then these are the socket functions. All right, so we can space it out a little bit. All right, so this is not going to be switched data to server. This is going to be variable data to server. And we're going to emit received variable instead of receive switch. So we're going to do receive variable. Okay. And receive variable. And then up here, we want to do almost the exact same thing, except we're going to do set network value of game variables. So we're going to come up here. We're going to do game variables dot set network value. And this takes two functions, variable ID and variable, and those are going to be variable and value. So data data dot variable and data wow data dot value and that should do it folks if my calculations are correct 
Uh, but like I said, this is the basics of it. Uh, all right, so let's let's figure out how we're gonna do variables. Um, let's make a couple events. So I'm going to make an actor here, and we are going to say. Put up value of variable. Let's do variable five. We did switch five, so let's do variable five by one. All right, so we're gonna put up the variable of five by one. So control variable, we're gonna do variable number five. Variable number five, I don't know why I have Variable number seven Pokemon, but I do have variable number seven Pokemon apparently. Uh, variable number five, we are gonna call uh, global. Okay, just to see what's going on here. All right, so control variable, variable number five equals zero. Uh, no, 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 no. We want to add one every single time. Okay, and then we want to show text we want to say current, or actually let's call this new value. So new value is, and I believe it is this short code. Uh, yes. All right, and then this is a short code for just showing the fifth variable. Uh, so, okay, okay, apply. Uh, uh, and we'll put current value is five. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right. So here's what's going on here. Just so we're clear on how this works. Okay. This guy right here is going to put up the variable of five by one. It shows you your current value before it adds one. Uh, you want to what? A little bit confusing. Let's do current value first. So, whoa, 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 whoa. okay, okay. So, what this guy is doing? Current value is shows the current value of uh, uh, variable number five, and then puts up the var puts up the value value of variable five by one, and then it puts it up, and then it says new value is five. Uh, a new value is the value of five. All right, so if we come over here and we redo everything, let's get rid of uh, the console down here. I was just making sure there were no errors when I was running it before. We sign into our game. All right, we can see each other. We're all connected, we're all good. Okay, if I come up here and I say, okay, current value is zero, put up variable five by one. So now it should be new value is one. So if I come over to here and I come and talk to said person, the new value, the current value is, oh, you wanna know why? <laughs> you wanna know what helps folks? Once again, once again, restarting the server helps. Okay, so let's, let's try that again. All right, so if we come on in here, all connected. I come over here, current value is zero, put up the value by one, and I should come over here and the new value should be one, or current value is one and new value two. So let's do this a couple more times just to show you. So new value is now five. So now the variable ID is five. If I come and talk to them, it says current value is five, put up the variable by one, and we are good to go. So yeah, folks, that's pretty much the extent of global switches and global variables. I mean, it's pretty simple, but it can be extremely powerful. Uh, there are improvements that I would suggest to this, to this basic code. Um, one of them being, uh, for instance, in my game, what I did was uh, I actually made a secondary um, call that, you know, 
any variable ID that was over 100 would only run this socket emit because I still wanted to have local variables. So, so there's still things that could be improved upon on this. And I, I actually might add uh, some configuration options up top if people really like this and wanna, wanna continue with this. Uh, I just wanted to get this out here to show how socket IO worked, uh, the basics of it, because this is really the absolute bare bones of socket IO. I haven't even gotten into rooms yet. I've only talked about namespaces, really. I haven't talked about how to uh, how to program with the rooms and stuff like that, which we'll, we'll get into another time. Uh, but th this is this is a good first kind of uh, beginner's course into socket IO how to functionally use it with my system so that if you're planning on developing something, you can get something up and running really quick. You know, this is a good kind of um, a base to kind of roll with. You can take this and kind of put it into your own game and, and mess around with it from here. But yeah, hopefully this gets us started in the right direction in 2018 and we can move forward with some, uh, some more tutorials. Uh, with that, later game makers.